Hi everyone, welcome to Informatica support videos. Today we are going to see how to bulk export and re-import the exported assets in CDGC. The agenda of the today's session is how to bulk export assets in CDGC, what are the permissions required, how to re-import exported file in CDGC followed by the demo. Bulk export assets in CDGC. We can search for the required assets in data governance and catalog and export the search results in an Microsoft Excel file format. We can export only the search results. You can refer to the above document which has a sample search queries which we can make use when you are searching the assets in CDGC. Permission. The the user role must have the export and import permissions under the services under the data governance and catalog service. How to export the assets in CDGC? Open data governance and catalog, search for the required assets and export the search results. We can re-import the exported file after making the changes to the asset. For example, we can uh, we can add a relationship between the business term and the uh, data. We can do the bulk curations like adding the description to the asset or adding a value to the custom attribute. Uh, like that we can do the bulk curations or else we can do the uh, glossary association for example if something is recommended by the clare we can either accept or reject the business glossary. coming to the permission uh, go to administrator user role select the user role that is assigned to the user and under services select data governance and catalog service and there that under the futures the user should have the export and import privilege enabled for that by default governance administrator has the export and import privilege uh, data governance this is the data governance and catalog and this is a metadata command center combination of these two services we will call is as a cdgc services we should need to date we should go to data governance and catalog to search for the assets we can either search for the asset by using the name or else we can make use of the search queries so this is the document that i have mentioned previously so which has the search query examples based on the relationship search queries based on the life cycle for example business term with the life cycle draft so i'm taking this as an example so business term with life cycle as draft so it will list all the business term with the life cycle as draft other than that we have a filters as well so we can make use of the filters as well uh, the ratings 5 and above and who is the stakeholder either it should be a no stakeholder or there should be some specific user as a stakeholder who is up who updated on and updated by so once all these filters are applied uh, the search results will have the assets based on our requirement so once it is done we can click on settings export and start export so as said previously uh, the search results will get downloaded in a microsoft excel file format if the search results are more than 10,000 then a zip file will get downloaded the, under the zip file we will have a multiple excel file each file will have a 10,000 rows so this include hierarchy so this include hierarchy will include all the child assets of our search results so we can give the file name as uh, it is a customized name so i am just giving text export import so once we click on start export a job will be triggered in data governance and catalog as well as the metadata command center we can just go on job monitoring there a job will get triggered based on our file name if you would see this is our file name test export import and a file name this export means this is a export job so export with the same name another job will get triggered on the ncc as well if you could see the same job name so once the job get completed a file an excel file will get downloaded so i have already exported the files so here i have exported totally 494 assets here we have like how many count is there in a particular asset for primary key we have two business term we have two so this is the file that i uh, that i have exported so for each asset a separate sheet will get downloaded for catalog source is a different asset data set is a different asset so for catalog source there will be a separate sheet and for uh, source system we have a separate sheet like with business term and uh, primary key we have a separate uh, separate sheet which will get downloaded uh, now coming to the curation spot we can make any changes to the fields that are that are not in gray for example if these fields are in gray color then we should not make the changes other the other fields we can make the changes that got required that is required for example i can add the description or allies name to the business term 
coming to the data element i can add the business term which means like we are creating a relationship between the business na business term and the data element and what is the business description life life cycle we should not change this is as this is a grayed out we should not change glossary is recommended or uh, that that is some something clare is recommending so we should not change these field and accepted rejected we can change it uh, and also the column name this glossary recommended business assets or the technical data element description grid so this column name we should not change so once the changes are done we can save the file and go to the data governance and catalog again go to new import assets import assets import here there is an option to add file so we can select the file that we the where we have made the changes so select export so once it is then we can click on start export so again a job will get triggered on the data governance and catalog and metadata command center as well so i have already imported the file if you could see this is showing as a import file so here it will show the statistics of the file here all the 494 assets got updated if there are any error or if there are any things if it got failed we will have the count here catalog shows total asset is 6 all the 6 got uh, imported if there are any errors the then the it will show how many uh, assets got imported there is an another statistics as well if you click on view details here we can see how many catalog shows data elements and data from here also we can download the assets so what are the changes that the user can do in the ui the same changes we can do in the bulk import as well for example this is one of the business term for which i am not the stakeholder so i cannot update anything update the changes in the ui the same cannot be done in the bulk import as well so here i am trying to update the description and imported this file then the import job will get failed with the error like cannot update cannot perform the update operation on the asset because you are not the assigned stakeholder for this asset so this is a reference id for this asset you can refer to the below document a knowledge article for how to export assets and reimport of the exported asset we would love to hear from you regarding the feedback of this session you can drop a mail at supportvideos@informatica.com or you can tweet us in the below twitter handle thank you